Hey collectors, Anthony from Matches.net here, and today we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover with Transformers. And as you see, the packaging is kind of a mix of A and a mix of B. But before we take a look at that, uh, first off, let's uh, note that there are instructions and don't hurt yourself paper. So remember, don't hurt yourself. And before we take a look at the vehicle mode, uh, we take a look at the packaging, and you can see it has the crossover symbol. It has the vehicle mode. It did come in bot mode, but problems I had were converting it, and uh, I was like, you know what? I think we're going to start in vehicle mode. So here's the front. Here's the weapons and accessories that come with it. Uh, nunchucks, a bow staff, two size, two katana, and a bunch of head covers. Uh, and then, of course, you can customize them to however you want. I, of course, chose Raphael. If you've been keeping track of this channel, Raphael's my dude. Anyway, vehicle mode, bot mode, and um, that's it. It's in a blister because Ninja Turtles uh, mainline figures typically come in blister with the back. So that's what they're mimicking here, in case you were wondering. And uh, that's pretty much it for the box. So the figure, uh, it, he is bulky. Uh, leader class, maybe. Um, that's how I'm categorizing it. But uh, take a look at the vehicle mode, and it's the classic 88 van. Um, kind of just, uh, like, it's okay. It's, it's bulky. It rolls really well. Like, I have things mounted on it. Now, technically, these swords are supposed to go down here in these tabs, but I just cannot get them to get in there. But the size fit perfectly under there, so it, it everything is storable. They're like, everything that came with it is on here somewhere. And I also like to point out that uh, in addition to the weapons being separately packed, uh, this piece here and this piece here are also separately packed. And this piece <laughs> is funnily just a hidden secret. It's a piece of pizza. So, uh, or a, a whole pizza? I don't know. But uh, it just goes on the nose here. There's a little tab in there that indicates uh, when you're, you know, in the right place. Because it won't let you connect otherwise. Um, unless you're upside down because, you know, the tab is either one way or the other. So... There we go. Uh, so it has that face on it that uh, everyone loves. Um, conversion isn't particularly difficult more than it's just uh, you got to be perfect. Uh, I struggled with getting it. That, again, why we are in this form to start with. So here's a katana. It's not too complicated. It just has a little bit of edge on here. Nothing too fancy. A couple of clips here. I uh, clip on the side. It can clip on the back. Um, and so if I get it to go on the bottom here, and here are the, so those are katanas, these are the size, and they're very short, but I guess you kind of need them to be compact so they can store, otherwise it'd be intrusive. So these do move, uh, and these do move, so I forgot to point that out before I go back. Uh, there are just in little ports, uh, for these little, uh, side lights, uh, these are attached. I'm sure if they come off, you can probably just reattach them. I'm not gonna play with those like that. But uh, I do like the texturing. It, this has like a lot of. It's just this is compact. It's like there's empty space in here, obviously, but it is. It feels feels good. Okay, so we're going to detach pieces. So we'll move this piece up. Actually, we can fold this in half, but put it out of the way. Same with this one here. Put it out of the way. Unfold these pieces here. Um, I don't. I don't know. I. I it's weird. And uh, let's see if I can get the front piece off. I worry about this because of the way it's connected. Um, I worry about maybe this whole area just shearing off at some point. Uh, it just doesn't feel very secure. But anyway, close this onto this. Same thing here, like this. Uh, then we can pull the top off here, and we can pull the part here. Also note that this is packaged separately, so you have to slide this on. It, it, it kind of slides, slap clicked in. There's like a of a port on there you'll, you'll you'll figure it out it's super easy to do uh, pull these up and you'll notice that the nunchuck are attached to them and uh, they are let's see if I can pull it out here they are actually chained so I have a nice chain to them uh, and you can spin them around so it's pretty neat but uh, we will keep them on here. We'll make sure the chain is facing the right way so the thing will actually let it connect to this piece here. There we go. Okay, so continuing on, we're pulling this apart. Um, there is a hinge on the top here. 
and uh, hopefully it'll let you pull this out because you need to pull the arms out which are attached to this piece here. I'm really trying not to scratch some paint. There we go. So if you can pull it off and then you can get this to separate. It's, uh, it's fine. I feel like this is very familiar. I just cannot just pick out where it is, but once you get it separated, you can move this out of the way and move the feet forward like this. There are heels. Pull the heels out. They don't lock into place. They're just hopefully hoping for friction, I guess. Um, so here are the arms. Uh, they were attached to the top here. We un we, we detached them, I should say, and they fold out like this. Now, uh, I'm going to show this as best as I can. There are heads here. Here's the original one, and then here's each of the turtles' colors. Um, I don't know how well that's coming up. But here is the bow staff, and it folds up like this. There is only one. That you know, that, that's it. It's, it's just an ingenious way to fold it up, and it uh, stores under the panel we're about to fold in. But uh, there is a slot here and a clip, and then we can just fold these in. That's where it goes, and it covers it up, and that's it. So we're we're done with that. It's out of the way. Okay. Continuing on. So the let's move these out of the way. Um, the arm we can fold. Out the wrists like this and we can pull the arm out of this you can turn this like this it makes kind of like a shoulder cover so there you go and then we can keep folding this in there it's gonna lock into place although it feels more friction than actually a lock but uh, once you do that you can pull the head up and um, the head doesn't feel like it has any it just kind of ratches it I don't know if it's really a ratchet per se but here's the face uh, to replace it, you would just take another face here. It goes onto the port, and that is it for that. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it really just locks in, and I don't think anything catches it to lock it in. But, anyway, uh, just trying to position the arm. It is super tight in some of these places, so it's very weird. It's kind of a mixed bag of tight and weak. Um, I can pull this off, and this chest here... Uh, can show your badge here. You can lift this up and then rotate this to find your letter. Of course, mine is R for Raphael, and this is how he's going to be packaged when I put him back in his box for display. And uh, put that back on, or you can take it off, your choice. Um, so, I mean, it looks good either way, um, but if you're looking to store it, you need to. Actually, I don't. I can't remember. This, this, I think this might have been separate too in the box, but I guess I'll find out when I try. Anyway. So furnishing up the back end, you see this big old hinge now, and uh, this goes down like this, and that is it. So I don't know. How, I, hopefully you saw that. Um, it, it's just it's it does a decent enough job to kind of just keep it all together. And this is how it looks. You can adjust these like this if you want, so you can see forward. Um, anyway, as I was gonna do, so this is how I store the size. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put one in his hand so you can see that he can hold them, he can, as you see, and then a katana, and uh, he can hold them, ouch, uh, mm. so anyway, uh, let's see, there are little tabs on the side of katana, as I'd shown, and they can just slide in here, uh, you're supposed to put the katanas, like, up here, and um, this is where they store in, in bot mode, and that's fine. Uh, you can also attach them here uh, if you don't mind, if your arm is going to be kind of like out of the way. Uh, they can actually just go under here, kind of like this. So it, it really depends on where you feel comfortable about it, if you're just going to display the figure outside of its box. Um, I, I dig it. It's nice and bulky. It, it, I mean, I wasn't expecting miracles. Uh, but, uh, I mean, he looks good. He does. He's just, he's tight and more some places he's fidgety and other places. Um, I mean, he's otherwise just fine. It's just, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, so here is some close up here. And he's nice turtle like toe, two feet, you know, two toe feet, I guess. Uh, we go around and, uh, yeah, I got a turtle shell, faux shell kind of thing going on here, which is the top of the truck. And uh, you can anger these all the way up if you want. 
Uh, this piece, once it's installed, is pretty much there. Uh, you could probably remove it. It's just a peg. But, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's cool. I think it's bulky. I think there could have been a little bit more done to maybe make it a little more friendly for conversion. But, I mean, honestly, who's really going to play with this thing? This is going to be on a shelf for most people. Although, it did remind me, there's one more thing you need to do. Fold the tires under. Now it's complete. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Teenage Mutant